Hello, Brenton with All in Octane here. And in this video, I'm going to be opening up some of the brand new Matchbox moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs. Plus, not opening, but showcasing the Pagani. I was able to find it. That is incredible. I am stoked. But let's go ahead and get to the moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs that I will be opening for you guys. Uh, this, I believe, is 2024 Mix B. And you can tell that there are some new 2024 cars when you find these by it's saying literally new for 2024. So yeah, if you find some of these cars, it, it says new for 2024. I believe these are going to be the new lineup for 2024 cars. I think the Audi is also one. So we haven't seen these cars, this car in moving parts yet before. So let's go ahead and open these up. Um, I have done a video where you just kind of pull this part open and try to get the car out because I thought these would probably be a little more, uh, I guess, stealable. That's not really a word. Than, um, well, and that one was. So as you saw, that was really simple. Uh, I thought these might be a little bit more liftable than uh, some of the other cars. And they sort of are, it just kind of depends on what moving part, like you saw, it's easy to pull the door open on the Tesla and just take it out of the package. You don't even have to undo anything else. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that they're going eco-friendly. I know this was showcased by a Tesla. Uh, Matchbox had a Tesla Roadster. This kind of packaging was showcased to be eco-friendly. So you can kind of see it's uh, recyclable materials and uh, hopefully you can recycle it. The problem is, the apartment complex that I work at or work at that I live at does not recycle. So sadly, this just goes to a landfill. But this is the Tesla Model 3 and it has the moving parts of the doors. So you can open up the doors. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Nice wheels. Uh, let's see the is there. Oh, they might have the yoke in there. No, there is a steering wheel. The interiors are a little lackluster on the Matchbox. They could be better, I feel like, or I think they could be. Um, not really sure. Yeah, because you see there's not really much of a steering wheel in there. But the fit and finish is pretty good. There's like a door gap there, but, you know, it's like that in real life. <laughs> no, they've gotten a lot better at it. They've gotten a lot better. Um, so, yeah, there is the Tesla Model 3. Let's go ahead and go to the Ranger. We've got the 2019 Ford Ranger and let's try the same thing. Let's let's see if I can get it just like I did with the uh, the Tesla. And now this one, this one's a little more difficult. So this one, um, when you open these, if you open it the traditional way by the actual packaging with the flaps and stuff, if you do it this way and you slide it out, they do normally have like these push tabs here on the back that you can push the car open or push the car out of the packaging that way. So here we have the Ranger. It does have a bed that goes down, which is sweet. It has no tampos in the rear. Mm, is that a tampo? No tampo on the side, just front tampo. They got to get the blue oval in there, of course, right? Fit and finish is okay. Engine, no tampos on the engine. I believe that would be a six cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. It could be a four. What does the Ranger have? I don't even remember. But yeah, headlights tampoed, Ford tampoed, decent, okay fit and finish, and an engine for a moving, well, and the hood's a moving part. Pretty cool truck overall, pretty bland, but I do like that it has the tailgate and the hood that, that go. That like that that helps. That helps. I feel like this would be a good customizable truck, and especially if you get the fit and finish a little better. It's not bad. It is not bad. But again, for the cost, these are about two dollars and some odd cents. Um, you really can't go wrong with with Matchbox moving parts. They're they're a pretty good value, I think. Next up, we have a Chevy Tahoe, and I believe we've seen this in black. Now we've got it in red. And uh, I think this one also has a hood for a moving part. I used the method, I believe, Matchbox wants to open these by opening the package. Look at that tample work. I, 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 the grill is kind of controversial, just like BMW grills, but I, it's tough not to like it because it's so big. I mean, it's not a Lexus grill, 
But Lexus is also kind of cool too. I, sometimes I like the bigness of a grill, but at the same time, it's it's got to look good. And Chevy's, Chevy's looks okay. They do have a tampoed engine in there. So I believe that would definitely be an eight cylinder of some sort. It's really hard to see because it's really, well, like you see the hood is starting to bend a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how to get that hood up higher, but the fit and finish is pretty decent. It's a little better than the Ford. They have any tampa? They do have tampos in the rear. They've got the Tahoe. And this one does not have a lifting tailgate, but that tampo work in the rear here on that tail light is awesome. That's pretty cool. So there we have that. Next, we're gonna go to the 2023 Audi RS6 Avant. I love the rims on this thing. And this one should have the tailgate open up or the hatch open up. It's a wagon. Let's go ahead and open this. I love the brown interior too. The brown interiors just look cool to me. All right. This is not going well. There we go. Got it. Chrome fives. Really good fit and finish from the side profile. Check that out. Not bad. They have the paint to match because the body is metal. The lift gate is plastic. I believe. Let me take this off camera real quick. Yeah, it is. So... It's plastic, but they got the paint to match. And I feel like it's because it's a darker color that that might be a little bit easier to do. Look at that rich brown interior. It's kind of caramel color. It's got a luggage in there. Avant Sport, or I'm sorry, Audi Sport RS6. Tampo is in the rear. Tampo is up front. Look at that. This is a nice car. And this one was peg warming. This one had a lot of, there were, I found a lot of these. And it's a nice car. Don't sleep on it. It's, it's a good, it's a good looking car. All right, let's go ahead and go to the BMW. This 1973 BMW CSL 3.0. And we're gonna open this the traditional way too. This one is new for 2024. Nice bright orange. Decent rims. I'm not really sure if this is the best rim choice. We've got the hood that pops. BMW obviously pops the other way. Hopefully this will open. Oh man, if that's, see, this is the hard part. Is that all that it opens? There's no way. How do I get it though? Mm. Well, this might not be happening. Let me pause you guys. So this is literally as far as I could comfortably get it open and feel safe without breaking it. So there's your six cylinder engine in there and uh, tampoed, highly tampoed, but you can barely see it because you can barely get the hood open. We've got a ton of tampos up front, which is epic. Tampos down the side, tampo in the rear, highly tampoed car which is really cool. Nice black interior. Again, the rim choice is a little wonky. Great color choice. It was just difficult to see the main feature when the when it's supposed to be a moving part and you can only get it open that far. That's, that's difficult. It's challenging. All right, let's move to the Porsche. We've got the Porsche 356A and should just be a little deck lid in the back here to see the engine. A nice red interior on this one. I believe these are 50. Oh man, see, here's another one. How do you get that open? All right, I got to put you guys on pause again. Okay, you definitely have to have something small to prop that thing open. Ton of tampa work there on that engine. Nice Porsche tampa work in the rear. Tail lights. A fantastic, luxurious red interior. Tampos up front with the Porsche logo and the headlights. Very well done too. Nice, simple casting, nice, simple color. Great tampo work here in the rear on the, on the uh, engine, but you just, you need to have something to get that open because I, I mean, I even have some pretty long fingernails right now and I 
struggle to get right into that little gap to get that open because you got to get into that portion. That's, that's difficult. But let's go ahead and showcase. As I said, the, the Super Chase, you waited till the end for it. I appreciate it. 2018 Pagani Wire Roadster Mashbox Super Chase does have the rubber tires on this thing. Again, I'm not going to open it, but it does have this uh, SC instead of the Wire BC. It has the SC for Super Chase. Orange and black. Check out that card art. This thing is spectacular. So there you have it. There are some Matchbox moving parts I was able to find on the pegs. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Have you been able to find them? And until the next one, have a good one.